and final week of the December Declutter Challenge. If you'd like to see the previous week's videos, I'll link them down in the description box so you can check those out. This week I'm taking on something that I've been putting off for a really long time, but it needs a lot of work, and that is my wardrobe. During my closet declutter, I'm more specifically going to be trying to put together my very first capsule wardrobe. You may have heard of this before, it's sort of a popular technique right now that essentially asks you to have a small number of items in your closet, usually between 30 and 50 items, that you can mix and match to make different outfits. So your closet's less full, but you really have a lot to work with because everything coordinates. And so this is going to be not only a declutter, but kind of a lifestyle change for me. I've never done this before. Um, I'm going to be learning as I go to see how it works. And so I might not get it right the first time, but I'm going to try to make this a lifestyle change so that I can minimize what I own and enjoy everything that I have in my closet. First, I want to give you a tour of the closet before. My husband and I share this closet, which is built into the eaves of the bedroom, so the, the ceiling slopes down. You can't walk into the closet, it's actually fairly wide, but you only have the small door area to access the clothes. And so my husband's clothing is on the left side, and my clothing is on the right. In order to get the items out of the closet, you need to shift everything over right in front of the doorway, so it's not very convenient. We also have bins on the floor that are packed with sweatshirts and pants, and it's stuffed pretty much to the max. The method I'm using requires that everything can be pulled out of the closet and laid in one neutral area. I picked my bed, just let the mountain of clothing pile up. The next step is to divide all the clothing into three separate piles. One pile of items that you love um, and wear all the time, a pile for clothes that you like or are maybe keeps, and a pile that you're sure you can donate or sell. Next, I went ahead and put everything that was in my donate cell pile into bags so that I wouldn't be tempted to grab anything from this pile to keep. I decided to make my capsule wardrobe one that could last all year long and because we live in the Midwest, I wanted to find pieces that could be worn individually or layered for the winter months. I chose to find 50 items that could fit this and went through both of my like and love piles to find the items that would work the best.
I am very happy with the final selection of items. Many of them can be worn multiple seasons and layered. I've got t-shirts and tank tops and pullovers. In the bins, I have the bottoms, shorts and pants. And as you can see, there is all this space freed up and tons of extra hangers. As part of my year-round capsule, I did include in the total 50 pieces some workout items. Not included in the number are accessories such as scarves and jewelry. And these are the final pairs of shoes that I decided to keep. These are a few of the different outfit options that I was able to come up with using only minimal number of pieces. I'm excited to try all these different combinations throughout the year. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to this channel or visiting my website arrowhillcottage.com for more tips on creating a simple home and living an intentionally simple life.